Hello and welcome to Talk War Gaming. We're back with another video review of uh, some of Cromlex miniatures, and um, this time we're going for like kind of an imperial uh, kind of style miniatures, humans. And and this first miniature is Inquisitor Ingrid von Swartel, and as you can see, she's an Inquisitor of some sort, and she's equipped with a chain sword and a bolt pistol here, and she's kind of standing in this very um, kind of victorious pose on top of this kind of mutated creature at the bottom there. Overall, the miniature is very nicely detailed. There's some uh, nice iconography here, such as kind of the uh, the eagle wings there, and then it's, it kind of reminds me a little bit of some of the Sisters of the Battle miniatures. This kind of headpiece that she's got going on there, and also slightly kind of vamp vampire-y as well, vampire-ish. Don't know what the correct word is there, but uh, we've got these like, kind of fairly close there. Um, Easy to put together. It was literally the chainsword, uh, the arm, and the pistol, and then that was just glued onto the base with this mutant on the foot on the floor here. So. Nicely detailed, um, very little in the way of mould lines or kind of flashing to remove as well. So overall, a very nice miniature, um, excellent for kind of use in Assisted Battle Army or if you want to kind of have an Inquisitor's Force as well. This brings us to the next miniature, which is a Sister Herja or Herja, um, which is kind of like a, an astropath kind of psycho style miniature. She's uh, equipped with this like robe, uh, this kind of hooded cape and this, uh, this staff here with the kind of the psychic eye. Trying to buy this kind of Aquila kind of style as well, with the wings coming off there. Uh, this miniature actually comes with several weapon options as well. You can um, forego using uh, the staff, and you can equip her with this uh, this kind of open hand, or you can remove this kind of casting hand there. She's uh, casting some sort of lightning or psychic effect with this uh, kind of last pistol uh, style weapon here. So it's kind of a couple of options there. Uh, the cloak is, uh, I really like the, kind of the styling in the cloak, it's nice and flowing in the creases in the top there. And like the previous miniature, very little in the way of uh, clean up and prep time needed. Uh, very little mould lines, which is kind of what we come to expect from the Cromlech range anyway. So that uh, leads us to our third model for this review. So here we have uh, Paulus von Feyre. Uh, he's kind of an imperial preacher. He's got in one hand this uh, bolt gun uh, kind of flamethrower combi and he's got his staff in the other hand with the, the book and the skeleton at the top there. On his back he has a giant eviscerator chainsword along with a water bottle and a, a book there and a few pouches. So excellent uh, detailing on here. You can see the kind of runic, like the inscriptions around his hood there. These nice little uh, details. Um, and his, the robes are really nicely uh, sculpted as well with kind of the flowing and the creases. Um, very impressed by, I'm particularly very impressed by when cloth done right, it can be quite difficult to sculpt. So this miniature, like the, um, the Psyker beforehand, comes with a couple of weapon options. You can equip him with the uh, the last pistol or you can give him a shotgun as well. Or, alternatively, instead of having the staff, you could equip him with a uh, another chainsaw or this kind of like power weapon vibro sword there. So plenty of options for this miniature. Um, depending on what you want to do. In fact, you could probably magnetize them and just swap them out as you change the loadout of the, the priest. So if I just bring in the other miniatures here. So here we have uh, all three of them back together. And the scale is about 32 millimeter, which puts them ever so slightly larger than uh, a 40K miniature. Um, if I just put the Inquisitor there next to a Garzman, for example, you can see she's ever so slightly taller. Uh, it's not too bad though, I mean, it's, it's quite negligible. The scale in Warm 40K isn't particularly concise anyway, so um, it's not very consistent. So you can quite easily get away with using these slightly larger miniatures. And in fact, the kind of, the how tall they are will actually make them stand out as being uh, special characters away from the rank and file troops on the left. So yeah, overall, very nicely uh, casted miniatures as we've come to expect from Cromlech. Um, if you would like to see more Cromlech miniatures, uh, please let us know in the comments and also check out our previous Orc review where we took a look at the Orc Freak and Goblin Nurses as well. If you like uh, these videos, don't forget to comment and subscribe and also uh, check us out at talkwargaming.com. As always, thanks for watching and goodbye.